Hola amigos, welcome to what will be my Christmas village for this year in 2020. Now right now there's nothing on it, but I will be showing you step by step on how I will be decorating my Christmas village this year. For this year's village, I'm only using one product and that's from Limax. So there's no Walmart brand, no Dollar Tree, no Christmas tree shop or from other location, just Limax. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but I think it's gonna be fun also to create a world just using one product. So let's begin. I always start my village with a base and this is insulation foam. You can find these at Home Depot or Lowe's. These comes in sheets. And what I do is I just use regular toothpick that way I can combine these, place them together. That way it'll be nice and sturdy. Now in my village in the background, I'm gonna be having some height elevation. So in order to do that, you can use anything really, some boxes, some totes, anything you can find, including the boxes where your houses came from can be used to elevate it from the base. Now this is my layout so far for this year. I'm still working on it. I'm having a little bit of a dilemma because I still have a lot of foam to go through. These are my loose pieces from other village I've done before. So I just gotta work those onto that and then I can start placing my houses. That's gonna be my ski area of my village. Now I use just various size of foam and then I just glue them all together. Then I just place the snow blanket on top of it and it'll be nice and smooth. Now these right here are two foam containers which came from a box from one of the Christmas Village houses. I just painted, decorated a little bit. That's gonna be part of my waterfall. In my village I have some mountains and the mountains are really easy to make. You just use regular foam, you just cut it to size. And this one has two. And then all you have to do is just trim it, use a knife, uh, scissors, whatever you can. Paint it and then just glue it together and you have uh, mountain. And there you have it, my layout for this year's Village 2020. Now that my layout is done, now we can go ahead and do the placement of the houses and the figurines and accessories. So I got my houses already on the display. I'm pretty happy with their location. I may tweak it here and there. But overall, this is how it's gonna look like. So now I just gotta connect the cords, which is those, and try to hide them from view. What we're gonna be doing now is to be able to hide the cords from view so you don't see it. So I'm gonna be using this, which are floral clips. You can find this at any craft store, and this will help you a lot in order to be able to hide the cord from view. So the cores are all tied down so it's ready to go so now it's time to place the lamp post which will be throughout the village so it'll be the same steps just tie down with the clips now for the lamp post i find the best way to hide these components which is where the battery is stored for the lamp is once you place your lamp in the area that you like this will go behind the building and then all you have to do is just tie this down with the floor clips and they'll magically disappear, especially when you put the snow on top. The lamp post is secure with the floor clips. The cord goes all the way around to the back where the battery component is. You won't see it because it's going to be hiding with trees. Once you're happy with the placement of your houses and your lamp post and you have all your cords nice and secure, for me the next step is the snow blanket and they go back there in that section. Reason why I didn't place that first is because I needed to hide the cords. Now that that's done, now it's time for the snow blanket. I 
I got my snow blanket down, so now the next step is to place some buffalo snow on top of that. Make it nice and fluffy. Snow blanket and the buffalo snow is done on the mountain and hills. Next step is the accessories and figurines. Now this village is almost complete. You have the houses, accessories, figurines. They're all there except for one item. Now this village is almost done, but there's no life to it. What's missing? It's what I've been saying all the time. It's missing trees. Now watch this village come to life once that step is completed. Now like I said before, when you get these kind of trees, is you remove the base of it and you get this metal piece and that way you can stick it right into the foam it'll stay up it won't topple down it'll look more realistic too when placing your trees in your village don't forget you want different styles and different heights and then just vary the location and style and you'll get something like this. Now that my trees are all in their place, now I just gotta place my mountains right back there. Now comes the part that I enjoy and that is to make it snow. In my village, I like to use three types of snow. The first one is gonna be the plastic snow you can find at any department store. They're large pieces, just Sprinkle that all about your village. This is gonna be your base. On top of the plastic snow, I like to place buffalo snow flurries. This is much finer snow. Actually looks more like snow. And just sprinkle that all around your village from elevated height and on top of the roof. Makes it look like it just snowed last night. The third snow I like to use in my village is the buffalo snowflakes iridescent now these are little flakes of snow that glows once you place it on your village just a little bit sprinkle a bit just to make it look like it's fresh fallen snow so there you go my village is complete setup is done everything is in its place and I enjoy putting it all together everything is in its place it's much smaller than what I normally do but so far I am happy so there's only one thing left to do and that is to turn on the lights however I'm gonna leave that for the next video that's my showcase piece so I hope you'll join me then so until next time adios amigos